Hi guys, a quick video on the bowline. It's probably one of the most important knots when working with trees in an arboriculture. Probably the first knot that you'll learn and one that anyone can just learn themselves before they even get started in tree work. Everyone should know it. It's really important and there's so many variations on this knot. I'm just going to go over the, the basic one which is just a bowline. Obviously you've got a bowline and a bite. Uh, running bowline, those, there's all those, those different types you can, you can do and obviously different ways of tying it also you can do it with one hand or behind your back or I don't know there's lots of different ways of doing it this is the way that I was taught initially I do it slightly different myself now but I'm, I'm going to show you that way as well so we'll jump straight into it you just want to create a loop to start with and there's a little kind of story that I a little rhyme that I learned is the rabbit comes out the rabbit hole goes round the back of the tree and then goes back through the rabbit hole. So that is basically how you tie um, a bowline. You then need to obviously set and dress it. So pull in those two lengths at the bottom. You see the right hand on there. So we'll pull them and then pull the termination end and that'll tighten it up. Um, you then need to connect your harness or anything that you, you want to connect the line to is on that loop. You can obviously adjust it and make the loop um, smaller or bigger. And you also, if you're using this as a, a climbing, uh, as, you, as you, your climbing knot, you want to make sure you've got a stopping knot on that tail as well. So that's the way I was taught how to do it. But there's also another way uh, where the tail end goes around the outside instead of the inside. So I'll show you that way now, and that's the way that, that I do it. The way that I tie a bowline myself when I'm using it day to day is pretty much exactly the I've just shown you but the tail end goes the opposite way round round the tree so the rabbit goes the opposite way around the tree now basically the reason I do that is I find that it cinches up tighter um, it's easier to inspect it when you before you put your weight into your harness and use it and stuff so as, as you can see here it goes round normally and then the tail end will go back into the you know the rabbit will go around the tree and back into the hole that's how I tied it last time was I go the opposite way around so the tail end is on the outside of the knot um, once you've got a stopper knot in there as well it just it, for me it just looks tidier it's the exact same knot it's doing the exact same thing but when you see when you set and dress it for me it just looks a lot tidier and you can uh, you can undo it a lot easier as well I found 